to show you um, a few um, upcoming videos. Um, I have um, just uploaded uh, a couple of a few uh, videos where I uh, bought a uh, digital uh, average and voltage uh, meter as well as um, uh, how uh, to, to measure how many uh, amperages uh, of my trolling motor use. The, these uh, videos are prepping me to do or in build this pulse with modular. It's a digital variable speed control for my uh, motor guy, 70 pounds with control trolling motor to increase my battery runtime. So that's the upcoming video that I'm planning to um, finish. And the next one is to convert my Wellcraft air slot 165 sport open uh, bow boat to a fishing and boating hybrid vessel. Right now, um, I don't have a trolling motor in the front, so I can only use it for uh, boating purposes, not so much for uh, fishing because um, uh, there's no trolling motor in the front to steer the big boat. So the first thing I'm going to do is install a standing fishing platform in the bow or the front area. And the second thing is I'm going to install a motor guide trolling motor. Um, it's a 24 volts. Right, so this is a, a 20 volt volts. And it's really two 12 volts battery connected in series um, instead of in parallel. And then the second, and then um, I'm going to install two rotating. Uh, rotating uh, fishing chairs in both the uh, bow and the stern of the boat. So one in the front, one in the back. And the last thing is to um, install a few trolling rod holders in the stern area. Of course, uh, my Johnson 90 horsepower, the big V4, the four cylinders, uh, two cycles, engine. I'll have to do some maintenance and repair. The repair is to seal the lower unit because it leaks oil a little bit. Um, this year, in the beginning of the fishing sea boating season, I actually discovered uh, my lower unit seal is not perfect. So the a lower unit oil sees, uh, leaks a little bit. Not too bad, it just leaks a little bit. So I'm gonna seal the lower unit and um, I'm also going to change the lower unit oil. And uh, it's a pain in the neck um, project because I have to uh, lower the steering uh, cable that connects the um, the motor and the lower unit and the linkage is uh, a pain in the neck to uh, uh, disconnect and also reconnect. Um, you know, I did it in the beginning of this year and you can take a look and see how I did it. It's uh, actually pretty challenging. Um, to drop the lower unit by itself is a challenging project because it's pretty heavy and you, if you do it alone, it's uh, you know not easy. And then I'm going to show you a couple of free video editing softwares that I recently learned and uh, downloaded and learned to edit my uh, videos. Tips is I'm going to show you a few tips of using Google Maps. Um, one of the cool things I uh, did was this, um, uh, you know, uh, my fishing, uh, my fishing, uh, where is it? my fishing map? And I think that's pretty neat. Uh, that's pretty neat. Where is my fishing spots? This one. Uh, well, see, these icons are in red. 
But then I have another one where it's actually customized. Uh, so it looks so much better. Vision Spot is one. Yeah, see, these are still not customized. And this is the one that's customized. As you can see, Chikuri Island with uh, the pumpkin man catching a garfish. And then uh, Lake Anna. Or so it is customized uh, icons. Hope we have some. Uh, You know, drive back, it has to be big, maybe the float trip, maybe Roaches Run, maybe Four Mile Run, Gravely Point, who knows. Maybe uh, River Band, I haven't been there this year at all, so, you know, so, that's a River Band. I haven't been to um, Bird Lake either, you know, so, let me do that. Uh, anyhow, so those are the upcoming videos. Uh, please subscribe so you won't miss any of it. Okay.